So, on the days leading up to our much anticipated summer Hoshino banner, I've been seeing a particular question pop up. It looks like this. I hear you should not Yui for the Shoshino. Why is this? I think I understand the concern, and before I start a long and very angry rant, let's enter this question honestly and get the facts straight. On the Japanese servers, between the dates of 4th of January 2023 and the 11th of January 2023, the total assault against Hieronymus was open. During the first few days of this raid, a popular speedrun strategy for only insane involved a team comp which featured two particular students, Swimsuit Hoshino and Tracksuit Murray. Team Murray's job in this comp is very simple. She heals the lantern. The reason why she in particular is better than the other healers for this strategy is because her X skill has so much healing she can brute force the lantern through the 50% healing debuff. This is great for speedrunners because it lets them stack the damage taken debuff on Hieronymus much faster, leading to really fast kills. These speedrunners, in their quest to have the best time possible, notice that they can auto utilize Team Mario's basic skill to help heal the lantern to stack the debuff even faster and improve their times even further. If you didn't do this trick with the basic skill, you were looking at maybe a 3 minute kill. If you did this trick, you could potentially kill the boss in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. For speedrunners, this 30 second difference is a lot. However, this basic skill has a catch. It will only heal the unit with the highest defense. The Lantern, on Insane, has 2500 defense. But a UE40 Shoshino, whose equipment, level, and skills were fully maxed, would have 2584 defense. Which means, Team Mario's basic skill will heal Shoshino instead of the Lantern. This ruined the speedrun strategy and lowered the potential score of some players who had too high a level of Shoshino. That is the answer to this question, and those are the facts. This is where the origin of the brick comes from. It was from speedrunners telling other speedrunners that they may be barred from doing this strategy. It was never general advice to the average player. Now, with the facts out of the way, I would like to express my thoughts on this brick. It is a load of donkey fucking horseshit. This brick should not concern you. You, who is playing the game, no matter who you are, what playstyle you have, how much money you spend on the game, or how much you care for strategy, it does not affect you. For the sake of simplicity, let's split the player base into two. On one side, we have casuals, and on the other side, we have tryhards, speedrunners, score chasers, or whatever else is synonymous with this category. If you are a casual, this brick will in no way ever affect you. You motherfuckers can barely clear extreme. Why the hell do you care about some insane speedrun strategy? You guys have other shit to worry about, like learning how to keep your own damn team alive and not get wiped for the 80th time by the hardest boss in the game. You have to learn how to clear the stupid fucking content before you can even begin to speedrun it. Oh, well, casually. It's a good speedrun strategy, surely I can use it to clear insane casually. Fucking wrong! This strat is inferior to clearing the raid conventionally. What no one has told you about this speedrun strategy is that for it to work, you have to reset the raid for hours upon hours upon hours for a clear that might be your best record. You, a casual, most definitely do not want to spend hours clearing a piece of content a single time. And if you're gonna tell me you do want to do that, then you might want to clean that Dorito dust off your fingers because you're clearly one of these people. And you know what, if you are one of these people, a tryhard, speedrunner, or score chaser, you still don't care. A newer, better strategy was discovered a few days later that does not use Team Murray. This new strategy requires far less resets and is simply faster by a large margin. Every single player in the top 50 on the leaderboard used this newer strategy. So this brick, which originally concerned only speedrunners, no longer even concerns speedrunners. And to take that even further, let's say you are not a casual. Let's say you are a tryhard, but not that much of a tryhard. Let's say you are happy to use a suboptimal strategy, but you are unhappy to use this suboptimal strategy suboptimally by ignoring the base skill and resorting to only the X skill. Let's say that you push Shoshino to the max and have it completely decked out, and thus your Shoshino is now quote unquote bricked. Now, if you fulfill all of these conditions, not only are you a mysterious magical unicorn, but you are still not bricked because you can just borrow someone else's Shoshino. This problem affects no one. You should not be concerned about it. If you want to max her, just do it. Now, full disclaimer, I'm not telling you to go max her. What I'm saying is that this brick should not be the reason that is holding you back if you wanted to max her. There are a lot of legitimate reasons to not max her, like being too poor on skill materials, too poor on gear, or too poor on Eligma. But the brick is not one of those legitimate reasons. Delete it, discard it, get rid of this brick for your memory. It does not concern you. I do not know where this idea came from, nor who started it, but I don't care. Who started it does not matter to me, and I don't want to start any arguments if this idea was born from an individual. I do not blame them, and I can perfectly understand why something like this might have accidentally ignited and taken off. 
I just want this idea gone. Please dispel it and get rid of it. Thank you.